Last Thursday, we went through speech writing. Those who were not here, you have your assignment. Alright, what was the speech writing about, Vincent? I see how many of you have uh, good memories. What was the speech writing about? What was the title? How many Vincents are there? You better learn to remember. Okay, just last week you cannot remember. Alright. Let's look at section A. And here we are talking about English again. So let very quickly let me just run down to it first. Although the English language is teach, which is obviously the wrong word, and spoken in Malaysia, Malaysians do not have a strong command of the language. So the word is taught. What form of English grammar is this? Anime? Look at look at the sentence. What kind of form? Very good. Louder. Louder. So that I, they can hear you. This is the passive form. When I say the passive form, the sentence is in the present tense, right? Because you have the word is. Okay, so learn to spot things like that. Because sometimes in section A, they will start writing the passive form and then you look at it, is. Ah, Anthony teach me is. Ah, must, hope must be for the present tense. It's not. Okay? So, let's look at section A. Esther, can you read out the, the, the word? Stand up and read, please. So that I can see your whole... Um, Yes, my dear. Who are you? Student is scoring A's in the SPM examination and yet are unable to converse of the language. Alright, can you read out your correct answer? You were here just now doing it. Students are scoring A's. Mother, please, in the SPM examination. In the, in the SPM examination and yet are unable to converse. What is the preposition of the language? By the language? Come on, look at it. Sit down, girl. And that's the reason why when I ask you sometimes, I told you the sound of it sounds a bit funny, alright? So in A, students are scoring A's in the SPM examination, yet I'm able to converse Here means here, it will be to your advantage. 
Clear? Yes, ma'am? In the corporate world today, the focus are not just on technical skills as specialists. Specialized. Specialized knowledge. All right. Management by... Oops, can you please correct? In, in the corporate, the corporate world? world today, the focus... What should the answer be? The focus be? is not just on technical skills and specialized knowledge. Thank you. That is your answer. The focus is... The S here does not mean it's plural. All you know, all of you know what focus is? What is focus? Concentration. Concentration. Okay, when you study, focus. When you're in the English class, focus. When you're in the Bahasa, focus. In the math class, focus. Don't think of anything else. That's the way to learn. Alright, don't talk. Don't waste time. People want to talk, let it be. Okay, so you learn smart. Uh, Abby? Management by leadership skills are in demand as well. Are uh, in demand. Demand as well. Management and leadership skills are in demand as well. Thank you. That's the correct one. Are you all following? Yes. Kelvin, Vincent? You are the big ones, sir. Huh? And those who are sitting next to them, can you be mentors to them? Just look, making sure that they write. Huh? Do it so that you are doing revision at the same time. Alright, let's go to <coughs> F. Vincent? So, so, coupon, employment, 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 just break the word, employment, one is expected to have skin, skill in presentation, presentation negotiation, negotiation mentoring, mentoring, and persuasion, persuasion. a lot of ION, isn't it? Uh, Alright, do you have the answer to have skill become the word have singular or plural? Singular. Wow. So, what should the skill be? If that is plural, the skill must have. Tell me, my dear. The word have here is plural. Understand that. Plural and four. Sit down, please. Understand that, Vincent. Huh? That's the reason why when I ask you, you all blur. Either number one, you can't understand what I'm saying. Number two, I'm speaking in Hawaii or Cantonese for that matter. Have means and four. Plural. Plural means yao chia s. You got it? Homa? Alright, don't make mistakes like that. Okay? Alright, 79, 80, this is A. Huh? That is why I always say every mark counts. Don't waste it. Alright, let's continue. Okay, um, let's look at the word to have skills in presentation. All of you know that. Now you know why I'm running the video. So that when you all read, later on hopefully, maybe during the holiday classes, I spend time more on public speaking. It's going to be good for you all. Good practice for Form 4, Form 5 because you're going to do that. You want to start early or want to stay at the start at the last minute? That's it, because you need time to practice. All right, and it can be done. All right, believe in yourself. Don't ever say, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. At the least, now reading properly, only a certain times a while. Esther used to be a good reader. Now, all the tongue is all tied up. Abby is improving. That's when missing in action. Hmm? So try to try to attend the classes so that I know you all can pull out. If not, you're going to have a problem. Coming in two weeks, don't come in or whatever it is. Unless you are sick. Unless you have to go back to school. Alright, let's look at the word presentation. You understand? Negotiation. Can you please write it down? The word comes to negotiate. Alright? You will always see in on TV at times when somebody is kidnapped, especially in American show. Alright? In America, they have this person, a police officer, who is known as the negotiator. Alright? Sometimes you find that you need someone to talk to this kidnapper. You understand? Yeah, because you don't watch TV. The house got no TV. Alright? So this, this negotiator is someone who tries to talk either the bank robber or the terrorist. You mean by now? Okay? He has to explain or try to get this guy to give himself up. That's a negotiator. Same thing also when you're negotiating. Alright, what happens is that I want to sell this building here for 250000 
All right. Then Abby decided to buy and said, no, la, Uncle Lee, this one's all leaking here. La. The classroom's so old already. Behind, like, as though the bomb just bombed. Can we go for 200000 I said, no, la. you know, actually, I bought this 350000 Now I sell it for two fifty. I already lose 100000 Then you say 200000 You put on my throat, man. So let's negotiate. So we discuss. Okay? I, I less off a bit, you, you add up a bit. So shall we settle for 225,000? You see what I mean? So we negotiate. Yes, that's the word. Alright? So that is the word negotiation. And then we have mentoring. I just explained just now that Esther will be a mentor to Kelvin and you are a mentor to Vincent. In other words, mentor means what in English? You are like a teacher to them. Okay? You are like a high chair to them. You are teaching them because they are weak. Understand? Same thing also in your house when you have your little sister, little brother. Alright? They have homework. Don't tell me you as a brother say, I don't know now. Don't be selfish. I always say that when you teach, you are doing revision. Okay? And that's the reason why over the years that I've been here, my tenses are inside my head because I have to keep on repeating. Alright, but you don't do it. You sit here for two hours, finish it. Next two days, next three days, you come in here forgotten. So continue it in your school, even in other subjects. Max, if you have friends who say, Well, that's when you score A, uh, can teach me, you know? Why not? So, oh yeah, nothing, nothing wrong, ma. Don't be like. Not you. Okay? You understand what I mean or not? Alright? So these are things that you learn. Huh? So you build up your character. Wow. That's one turn out the Oh, all right, do that. Okay, and I always do that even when I'm working. People cannot do it, so spend time with that. That is mentoring, persuasion. What is persuasion? Just now you heard about negotiation. This is persuasion. So very simple. Abby and Adeline wants to go and watch the show. Adeline wants to watch Beauty and the Beast. All right, but Abby. A lot of homework, but you are all BFF, best friends forever, true? Alright, so what happens now? Adeline will call Abby, Abby, come let's see Beauty and the Beast. No la, I have a lot of homework. What la, you like that one man, you got my friend ma. So you start persuading. Why you just so long? So full. So full. So full. So full. All right. Where are you going? Do you understand when you look at your Chinese dictionary? So you try to convince him, hey, come la, I need it two hours ma. It's not 20 hours in the show. After that, you can go back and do your homework la. Cannot la, my mother school me la. What la, you tell your mother la. Huh? Say we have to, you know, I study a lot. So you are persuading. You mean by la? Can you understand? All right. So persuasion is the art of convincing people. A word means Abby didn't want to go, but I persuaded her to go because she is my BFF. Got it? Understand? So these are words. It's not difficult, but it's that you don't read enough. Alright, let's continue. Kevin? Let's turn something to... Moreover? Moreover? Teacher. You got it? Alright? Now, 
the word seek job is to look for a job. So next time after your university, when you come up with your degree or diploma or whatever the case may be, you don't want to continue studies, you can find for job or look for job or seek for job. So that's the word. So your answer here, very simple. Need to. What is the word? Every time the word to perform. Put your ing. Don't put the s. Don't put the ed. Understand? This is simple. And I think it's somewhere over here that I've written on the board. Can you see? Two must not be used with S, no past tense, no ING. Don't make mistakes like that, Form 1, Form 2 class, huh? okay? I cannot tolerate that. I've been teaching it since primary. He wants to go to the toilet. You cannot say he wants to go to the toilet. present tense In other words, use the base form. Alright, I don't know what you call it in Bahasa. Is it Bahasa? I don't know what is it. The original word. Just like Lari. Berlari. Larian. So the original word? Lari. Yeah. So same thing in English. The base word is always the plural word. It comes from the word go. Then it becomes goes. I add the ing, it becomes going. I put g o n n e, it becomes a past participle. Can you all understand this form here? So don't ever make mistakes like that. Kelvin, pay attention. Winston, huh? one more time. We went to the cinema to see a movie, Toy. We went to the cinema where Uncle Lee teach me past tense. And that breaks the whole thing. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? If you go and then you see the word to and then you go and put past tense because this past tense, this one must follow past tense, it is wrong. When the word, the infinity word to, follow with word, that is the base form. So, does it sound a little bit funny when I tell Astra? Astra? <laughs> we went to the cinema to saw a movie. Mm. You know what I saw or not? Tahu tak dalam bahasa Melayu, gunakan gergaji untuk, what is the word song? Menggergaji. Menggergaji. Wow, how is gergaji? It's not like menggergasi. Do you know what's a gergasi? Oh, I have to teach you bahasa. Be another time, bring it up. Gergasi is a giant. Gergasi is a giant. Giant? Ya lah. Giant kici-kici. Alright, so these are words that I learned from the TV. I don't have to go to tuition. P. Ramli teach me that. No, I refuse. Huh? You know P. Ramli, isn't it? Uncle Lee's I call. Also Lee one. Alright. So we need to perform well. Kelvin and Vincent, pay attention to the two. Do you know what I'm saying? You can use S, you can use ING, you can use pass stand. Do you know what I'm saying? Three rules. Do you know what I'm saying? Alright. Now, let me just run through again. Moreover, job seekers need to perform well during interviews. Interviews, you know, in order to, to very good, to impress prospective employers. My dear people, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again. Many times I told you, the reason why you are good in your language, make sure you are able to communicate. Make sure you are able to speak. Even though you attend a Hawaii or Chinese, whatever it is, make sure you learn how to speak correctly. Can you all please put in that? And I told you many times, uh, I'm not a teacher. I have done a lot of interviews. All right? I think I spent almost a thousand over applicants that has come by during the time I was working for the last 30 years. People are looking for jobs. And I always say the first question which I teach you all, all right, Esther, tell me about yourself and your working experience. And I just sit back and I watch. I give you two to three minutes to talk non-stop. And if you go in there, my name is Esther, I am a girl, something is wrong. You got it? All right? And this is what I keep on telling you. The reason why the interviewers want to find out how well you See. think and how well you can explain. He didn't ask you to tell you, tell me about the history of America. Huh? He's asking you about your family. If you do not know about your family, you're not able to tell it within one or two minutes, something is wrong somewhere. You got it? So please pay attention. 
So in your school, even for that matter, sometimes your teachers have this form four in, and form five. You have presentation. This is build yourself up. And when you are at an interview, or rather, the, the interviewer don't have so much time. Huh? Okay, uh, wait, uh, wait, wait. Can I have five minutes? Huh? My school taught me that. You gotta be kidding. We give you two minutes because I want to hear how you talk. After that, I'm going to ask the questions. And some of you, if you apply for jobs, that is a test. When I joined Telecom, do you know how many hours my interview went? I went there at 9 o'clock. I finished out and came up at 4 o'clock in the evening. Mm. Many people give up waiting. They want to test your patience. Some of them went in with the paper. All right, you are given two and a half hours, five questions to write down what you think. Some people look at it, huh? And only after that, when we finish, and I got the job as a manager, they told us why we did that. They want to see how well. So these are human characters which you have to learn. Whether you have the patience, whether you use logic. And the test paper has got no wrong answers, no right answers. All you got to do is like a hot question. You just write down why. They give you a budget of 5 million ringgit. How, what do you want to spend on to promote? TV, newspaper, magazine, because we are going into Yellow Pages advertising. You have to have a little bit knowledge of advertising. All right, let me just write it down. At the end, they will ask you, why do you spend like that? You tell the reason. Okay, fine, they accept it. And so these are things that you will go through in life. So don't worry about it. You got it? All right, many people give up. Some do two questions. I got another interview, they run off. Okay, so these are things that happen. And that was my first experience. And sometimes what happens is that you get one to one person to interview. Sometimes you get three person and you sit down there. And so you're on the court and they will shoot questions at you. They want to see how well you answer. Doesn't matter if it's a Hawaii, doesn't matter if it's Fahasa, doesn't matter if it's me. If you know yourself, you know what you have been doing, this is how you do it. Alright, okay, let's finish it up. The English language may be a second language in Malaysia, but students need to take it seriously. It becomes an adverb. Got it? Come on. Alright. I think I'm going to leave the record.